Welcome, everybody, to the Will Coco Podcast. I'm back, and this is the first five-minute Friday. Let's get it started. Well, summer, it's gone. Came and went. See you later. I don't know about you guys, but mine was shit. Garbage. Hot garbage. Now, listen, not all of it, but most of it. See, I had all these plans, races, music plans, just trying to get everything organized and well didn't happen i got injured i got sick i finally got COVID after almost four years of dodging that sucker and it just all sucked at least it felt that way so in my uh wallowing self i had a moment of what am i gonna do now a little voice came to my head and i think some of my 90s people might remember this little voice with a little something like this With the words of wisdom, pivot. Well, that's exactly what I started doing. Listen, it hasn't been easy. And I know a lot of us go through this. I know a lot of us get to that point where either we're not happy with our day job or we're not happy with the way things are going and we kind of get stuck in this lull. We kind of get stuck in this thing when things aren't going the way we wanted to or thought they would. Expectations kind of suck. They kind of just set us up for failure. And boy, did I have a lot of them this summer. So instead, you pivot. Now, what does that look like for me? Well, it's kind of reinventing uh, myself in a weird way. You know, my family's always been good at that. Maybe it's because we are immigrants. Maybe because we have to reinvent ourselves. There wasn't really a map set out for us to follow. You know, my sister's really good at this. She's a nurse and then was a labor and delivery nurse. And now she's a traveling nurse. She's always constantly reinventing herself. So I said, well, why don't we dust off this old podcast? Now, A lot of you know, I have failed at this many times. Why? I just don't know. It's really difficult sometimes to think that anybody wants to listen to anything I have to say. Now, I know that I'm not uh, writing out a map for you to follow or instructions on how to do. I'm going through this with all of you. So this is exactly what it is. This is nothing more than me talking about what I'm going through not telling you this is the way to do it, but rather sharing with you what I do and what has failed and what has worked. So having that time, I figured, okay, well, let's dive in back to some production stuff. Let's dive back into some podcast stuff. Let's dive back into DJing some things like I used to back during the COVID era. All of this stuff embodies who I am. Sometimes it's slightly terrifying. Sometimes it's exciting. And I don't know about you guys, but I balance myself very poorly it's like a faucet it's either on or off so sometimes I'm very creative and sometimes I'm just not and I do that with my training and I do it with with what I kind of sign up for as projects or races or any of that other stuff so it took some time to just kind of take a pause and it's okay to take that pause I'm learning that it's okay to slow down and take that pause and go what is next some people may think that's a failure or that's a loss. That's not an L. Don't take the L. A marathon is still a marathon whether you walk it or whether you run it. So it really doesn't matter how many times you stop as long as you finish. So here I am talking to you today, five minute Friday. One of the things that's come up in my mind a lot is being able to run at your own pace. Man, we are compared to each other constantly, whether it's through social media, whether it's through social circles, and that talk is fucking toxic. It's the worst. A lot of the time, I tell people, I'm always caught between wanting to do everything and absolutely nothing. And the absolutely nothing part comes from what I just said earlier. I don't feel like I have anything people want to hear or say. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that happen or run that race or write a song that's worth people listening to. But guess what? It doesn't matter. Look, I know I'm not the greatest DJ in the world. I'm not the greatest podcast host. I'm not the greatest musician. I know I'm not the greatest runner, but it all brings me joy. And if I can remember that, then anytime I get into that section of life where I have to figure out what's next, good old Ross would say, Thank you so much for listening. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And that has been this week's 5-Minute Friday.